What should I know about improperly handling firearms in a motor vehicle? I'm Sean Dominey. I'm a criminal defense lawyer in Columbus, Ohio, and this video is going to answer that question. Ohio has many requirements for transporting firearms in motor vehicles. And if a driver has a concealed handgun license, then that adds an extra layer of obligations for that driver. Violating any one of those requirements can lead to a charge of improperly handling firearms in a motor vehicle. There are different charges, so let's talk about uh, what some of those charges are. The first one is discharging a firearm from a motor vehicle. That is a felony of the fourth degree, which means you're facing up to 18 months in prison, a $5,000 fine, and up to five years of probation. The second one is transporting a firearm unlawfully. And that's the one where the law tells you exactly how you have to transport the gun in the car. It's categorized as a fourth degree misdemeanor, which means you can get up to 30 days in local jail and a fine of up to $250. Another version of this charge is transporting or possessing a firearm in a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs. That version of this charge is a fifth degree felony, which means you're looking at up to 12 months in prison and a fine of up to $2,500. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're in this situation and you are a holder of a concealed carry permit, there are actually five different ways that you can violate this statute. I'm not going to go into all five, but they are on our website and they all have different uh, categories that they fall in, whether they're misdemeanors or felonies, so they all, they all have different potential consequences as well. So those are all of the charges related to improperly handling firearms in a motor vehicle. But what you should also know is there are defenses. There are the traditional defenses that are available in any criminal case, and there are defenses specific to firearms charges. Some of those defenses are built into the statute for improperly handling firearms in a motor vehicle, and some are affirmative defenses that are typically used in cases involving carrying a concealed weapon. Now, the lawyers at the Domini Law Firm understand all these various different charges and the defenses that can be asserted for our clients. So if you have a charge of improperly handling firearms, we can help. If you'd like to talk to us about how we can help, there are a couple ways you can reach us. You can call the number on the screen or you can submit a contact form on our website. Either way, we hope that this information has been helpful.